I just made this AI powered design portfolio that you can talk to. It's real, it's connected to an API, you can highlight anything and ask it questions, and it only took two prompts. This is just one of the crazy cool things I've built with Replit's AI agent and their new AI integrations feature. And I didn't have to lift a single technical finger. Normally after the design and prototype phase, if you wanna make a production ready AI app, you would have to create a developer account, generate and connect and store an API key you know, securely, and then switch back and forth between your preferred AI model like OpenAI or Claude and your Vibe coding tool. That's because your app needs to talk to another app and ask it to do stuff. That's essentially what an API is. And the key is what grants you permission to do that. But Replit has figured out how to completely cut out that manual setup process. This is what I think makes Replit so exceptional in the space. It is a true full stack AI app builder that can do all that technical stuff without your intervention. So let me show you exactly how I made this and how you can use Replit's new feature to make cool stuff like this too. So I'm inside of my Replit account and I have this simple prompt area. And all I'm going to do is describe the app that I want. I am going to just use a two-step prompt. And so first I just want to create the actual case study for my portfolio. So I just want to start with a single UX UI case study that shows a mobile meditation app that I created. And I'm going to explain that I want the colors to be soft, glowy gradients, zen-like aesthetic, and then I just want to call it zen mind. So that's the first prompt. I can also add attachments if I have some designs that I want to show it. I can even connect this to Figma if I have Figma designs, which I've covered in another video, and I can choose a theme. So I'm going to choose the zen garden theme. Now for the next part, I need one more prompt. And this is going to describe the functionality that I want for the chat bot. So on top of this, I want an AI powered chat bot built in. Now these are the magic words, open AI integration. This is how Replit knows to automatically connect to open AI's API. So once I say open AI integration, it's going to know it's going to do this stuff automatically with no need for you to generate any keys yourself. And I'm telling you that I wanna be able to click or highlight parts of the case study and ask questions about it, or ask it to summarize or analyze parts that they highlight. And that's it, I'm gonna click Create App. So now Replit is going to go to work creating a plan first, and you'll be able to see it working on this plan. You can stop it if you need to. It's gonna kind of give you little hints about what it's working on as it goes. And now this is important. This is exactly what you need to do to be able to have it create that AI integration. At the bottom, it's gonna ask you to confirm that you want to add open AI to your app using Replit's managed service. That means no keys and all the charges are going to flow right through your Replit credit. So everything is managed right here. So you're going to want to click approve. And just a few seconds later, it's going to show you the plan. And it has laid out the following features, a single page portfolio layout, case study that shows the design process, mobile app mockups, the AI chat bot, et cetera. Now I want to point out that it also confirms some details about the app type, that it's made with React and Node.js. And it also confirms that we have the Replit managed open AI, and that's what we want. Okay, now that everything looks good, we can either start with the design that we have or just have it design and build the entire app, which is what I'm gonna do. It estimates 20 minutes for this, so let's start building. So this shifts us into this side-by-side -side two pane window view where we have the real-time preview on the right side and the agent doing its work and letting us know what's happening on the left. So you can explore what's going on here. Right now it's creating the CSS file and designing it. And you can expand that. And this area is where you're going to be able to just chat back and forth with the agent and make changes. Now, since I didn't upload any actual images to my case study yet, it's going to generate some and it's doing a pretty good job so far. Obviously, I'm going to want to upload my own real screenshots and notes, and I can do that as well. And the agent will replace those when I'm ready. Okay, so here is our first look at the case study and it has a mock up at the top. And it's also letting us know that it's working, but it still has a few things that it needs to test, but we can see it here. And I'm going to go to the full screen preview up here so that we can scroll through it. And look at that. It's got the overview, the challenge, some key insights, the design process and the chat bot. 
Let's check back in on our agent and see how it's going. Right now it's working on getting that chatbot functional and to do what I ask so that I can converse with things that I highlight. One thing that I noticed is that the actual chat bot icon is like tucked in over there to the left at the bottom and it it's kind of cut off and it's not sticky so it doesn't stay visible on the website when you're scrolling. So I'll have to ask it to fix that. But right now it's prompting me to go ahead and try asking the chat bot a question. So I'm gonna highlight a part of this case study maybe this competitive analysis. It, it doesn't trigger the chat bot when I do that, so I have to go down and open it. We'll fix that too. But you can see that it shows the selected text. So it knows I'm asking about this. And now I'm gonna say, well, what competitors did you analyze? And let's see if it works. Okay, it's spinning. Okay, so it took a little bit of time, but oh wow, the answer is pretty extensive. It's telling me that I reviewed three mainstream apps, Calm, Headspace, and Insight Timer. So it is referencing real things and relevant things and giving me a very detailed answer. So if you've noticed, I haven't asked it to do anything yet. I've just been sitting here and letting it work. And it was just from those two prompts. Now I'm going to ask it to fix a few things. Starting with the placement of that pesky AI bubble, I wanna make sure it's not cut off, that it is moved to the right side of the screen and that it's sticky there so that it's always visible when I scroll. Okay, there it is, it moved it over to the right. I wanna add a little something extra here. I think a pop-up would be nice or like a tool tip next to this icon that lets visitors know that they can chat with my case study. Oh, that's very cute. I like that subtle animation. I love how it's floating there. It draws your attention, but it's not too loud. And then when we click on it and click off, okay, it goes away. So I like that. That way it only happens the first time the user visits it and clicks on it. And what it's created here is a complete web application with an entire database that it's set up for us. And you can see here, it has added storage for our case studies and the AI chatbot interactions. So when we need to add more case studies, we're gonna be able to do that and navigate between them. Everything will be connected. And you can come over here to this little file icon and you can see all of the files, the config files, the git files, all of your code is right here. And then when you're ready, you can even automatically deploy this to Replit servers so that your app is published and live and working. So I did this all on the Replit core plan and building all of this only cost me around seven bucks. If you use my referral code, you'll get a $10 credit to Replit Core. So essentially you can build this for free. I also appreciate how you can see the running total of how much time the agent spends working on things as well as how much it costs. And the cost for the API usage is the price set by the provider and it's deducted from your Replit credits. So you don't have to monitor or manage that elsewhere. Super simple. If you want to remix this app, then head over to our resources page. You'll find a bunch of useful links here, including how to claim your Replit credit, step-by-step -step tutorials, as well as the example apps that I've made. So you can view and remix these apps. I'll also include the prompts so that you can use those to make your own. So tell me, is there something you've been wanting to build? I would love to hear about it in the comments. And if you'd like to see a more in-depth tutorial on how I build more complicated apps and deploy them on Replit, then watch this video next.